Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at a lovely Holy Grail um, TS3 BI setup, which is this one here, that's unfolded on the DAX, which is today, which is Friday, March the 13th. For you standard MT Predictor users, you'll notice that this is against a red STF. That's why once you become a customer, we like to um, take you up to the higher time frames to you do your support and resistance and that's where these holy grail trade setups will uh, um, become more apparent for you so let's show you what I do so first of all we move to the higher time frame chart it's normally a chart between three and five time frames higher so on a three minute chart you go out to your 15 minute chart you then look for prior swing pivots and we can see that if we go back, there was basically the low of the day on the 12th of March. That was a fairly significant pivot. That would be an area of where you'd want to place a DP off. This is easy by selecting the pivot, right mouse clicking, then selecting DP. And as you can see, that gives you a level. But the most important thing is that level is on the chart in advance. I cannot stress that enough, that before the DAX even got here, before it even got even to this level down here, this DP support zone would have been on your chart. So let's see what this uh, means on our three minute chart. Well here we can see what happened. Basically the three minute DAX came down and found uh, support right at this 15 minute DP zone. In fact this nailed the low of the day. Remember this was on your chart in advance before the market even got there. So what does this mean? Well basically this means that if the three minute chart, i.e. the shorter time frame chart, makes support at this higher time frame support zone, we deem this as an important pivot because it's finding support on a higher time frame. In other words, if this is a major low, we then look for the initial rally of the low to be a wave one in Elliott wave terms. After a wave one, we're looking for a wave two correction. That wave two should ideally subdivide into a minor ABC. And that's what our TS3 uh, and TS4 and TS1 trade setups are designed to find. Let's place the analysis on this blue buy bar. And as you can see, this places the analysis on the chart nicely. Now, because this is a special case, in other words, this is anticipated to be a wave two, we're therefore anticipating the market's going to rally in a strong, but more importantly, a strong wave three kind of rally. In other words, we look to take the target up to our typical way 3 WPT. And as you can see here, the DAX has just uh, just exceeded this level. But it did actually reach that typical way 3 WPT level nicely earlier in the day. So why do I like these uh, Holy Grail trade setups so well? It's not because of their high reliability. Uh, they tend to be about 50-50 for their reliability. In other words, ones that can be stopped out to ones that are profitable. But the reason I like them so much is when they are profitable, the profits are much, much larger than the initial risk. In other words, here, we use our correct position size and to keep our initial risk small under control. This keeps our loss small, so when we're wrong, we lose small. But because this is a wave three, which is typically the strongest and longest in a completed five wave sequence, the profit is large. But more importantly, it's much larger than the initial risk. In this case, the profit would have been approximately seven times the initial risk. When the market got up to this level, you could have a look at our um, STF indicator again and notice that it has crossed our strength band, which is our gray band. So you could have been looking to trail with your ATR stop, which is our red and blue dots. And that means the market would be, um, it would actually be trailing up here and uh, the profit would be getting larger. But for the sake of this video, I just want to show it at the what would be the first profit target for the Holy Grail trade setup, which is the typical way 3 WPT, which would be here. So hopefully that's a good example of an MT predictor trade setup, particularly once you use the MT predictor to higher levels. And in particular, once you move to the higher time frame charts for support and resistance, in other words, this gauge a large degree support zone here. And off that, we got a lovely initial rally on the shorter term chart, which was here. Because that came off higher time frame support, that was gauged or um, defined as an initial rally wave one, off an important swing low looking for the wave 2 correction to subdivide with ABC. That then came in as our empty predictor TS3 buy setup. The target was then the typical wave 3 WPT. And as you can see, a very nice 7 point... <coughs> Sorry, just a bit of a cough there. A very nice 7.1 hour profit. So a great example of an empty predictor holy grail trade setup, this time unfolding on the DAX 
on Friday the 13th.